ESPN NFL Draft analyst Mel Kuyper, who recently published a new batch of first-round predictions, spoke to reporters Tuesday. Here are some Buccaneers-related takeaways. A late-season surge and strong senior bowl week pushed Mississippi State defensive end Montez Sweat up to the Bucs at no. 5 in Keeper's most recent mock draft, Montez Sweat is a pass rusher. He showed that early on. In fact, when he got into early October, I had Sweat as the 8th best player on my big board. Then he kind of got a little quiet, didn't have the sack numbers, then he came through with a couple of sacks late in the season. Then he had the really good senior bowl week. He's got the length, he's got the explosiveness, so that's why I moved him up to that spot. It was a little high for a corner. Greedy Williams, when I talk to people now, are thinking more 10 to 15, range DeAndre Baker, more 10 to 20, Greedy Williams' apparent allergy to tackling will keep the LSU cornerback from being a top 5 pick, I think the most important thing is coverage. I think that's something we say, everybody's not perfect, I think that what Greedy needs to do is prove that he's physical enough to be able to support and tackle because that's obviously important now in the bubble screen, short pass league. The short pass is an extension of the run game. You've got to be able to tackle. That's been something that's been very, I think, underrated with corners over the years. If you can't tackle, you can't play with 10 guys and your defense isn't as good and drives continue on a missed tackle, again, Greedy can cover. I think he struggled at times on throws down the field this year, but that was on rare occasions. But coverage is his strength. His length, his athleticism, all that, LSU's had a history of producing really good defensive backs, but I think the physicality is why maybe instead of going 4 or 5, maybe he drops into that 10 to 15, 10 to 18 range. Alabama defensive tackle Quinnen Williams probably isn't falling to the Bucks. Williams just had a phenomenal year. I love the way he destroys double teams. I love his hustle and the way he pursues. I think 3 to the Jets. He could go anywhere in that top group, related story, a lesson from the Bucks 1995 draft Jonah Williams, the Alabama left tackle Kuiper projected the Bucks pick in his mid-January mock draft, won't replace Donovan Smith, when you look at Jonah Williams, is he going to be a right tackle? He's not going to be a left tackle, but a right tackle, guard, center. That's why I put him at 18, not in the top 10, because I think he's an interior guy now. Dwayne Haskins isn't a lock to be the first quarterback taken. His arm strength, his accuracy, his football IQ, today's NFL suits him perfectly. Is he the fourth pick in the draft to Oakland? Is he a guy that goes 11 to Cincinnati? 13 to Miami? Does he in fact go ahead of Dwayne Haskins? He could. He's kind of a wild card, but to compare him to Dwayne Haskins isn't fair. They're totally different quarterbacks. The style of play would change the way you go about your business on offense if you bring him in. Haskins is a traditional drop-back pocket passer, where Kyler can do everything. He can throw from the pocket, but you want him outside the pocket. The height's not a big deal, I think right now it's a two-horse race. To say which one will be the first quarterback taken right now, I would lean toward Haskins, but it's not a lock. Related story, how the Kyler Murray decision and the Joe Flacco trade shake up the first round. The most fascinating team in this draft will be the Raiders, who are scheduled to pick. Before the Bucks, it's going to be interesting what John Gruden does it for, whether he moves forward with Derek Carr or he decides, hey, I can get a little bit of an upgrade here and possibility get a guy that can exchange points with Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes, contact Thomas Bassing or it, email protected. Follow it to metrics.